Hi, my name is Lindsay Rogers with the Nebraska Game and Parks Commission, and today we're going to talk about building a classroom composting bin. Now, the first thing to remember is, is the kind of worms you're going to use. You're going to use red wigglers. So, if we look at them, they're really small. They're much smaller than night crawlers. These worms like to build their homes in between the soil layer and the top leaves decomposing on top. This way, they don't bury themselves. What this means is, is that you are going to need a very shallow bin. They won't bury themselves in the soil, so a deep bin is not necessary. You can start out with a large bin like this, or even a medium size here, or a small bin like this one. If you do end up with a clear bin like this, you're going to want to take a piece of black construction paper and put it around the outside, because worms like it dark. I'm going to show you today how to build a composting bin using this one. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to pull off the lid and we're going to fill it with holes. Using about a quarter inch drill bit, we are going to put lots of holes all throughout the top to make sure there's plenty of ventilation for our worms. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add our soil. You only need to have about an inch or two of soil throughout your bin. We'll dump it out and then we'll spread it out. The next thing we'll do is we'll add our worms. So you simply need to put them in and let them go. They'll spread themselves out. Next, we're going to add lots of leaf litter. Now, you could go outside and grab decomposing leaves, but I think using torn up newspapers is probably a better option. You're going to want to make sure that they're nice and moist. Run them under the faucet before you put them in your bin. Not soaking wet, just nice and moist. Now, the next thing we're going to need is food. So we'll put in a banana peel. We'll pull back the leaf litter. We'll put in a banana peel. Maybe an apple. Apple peels or apple slices work great. We'll put that in and put it down there. Next, we'll add a carrot. Pull back our leaf litter, put it back under there. The worms will disperse and find all the food in the bin. You can add things like eggshells, coffee grounds, any fruit or vegetable peelings work great as well. Put the lid back on to make sure it's dark and it remains moist in there. You may also want to add some water. You'll want to do this on about a daily basis to make sure that those leaf leaves be, remain moist. Put our lid on and now you have a classroom composting bin. You can store your composting bin near a window or on the floor. Anywhere out of the way works well. Worms don't need perfect conditions. And that's your classroom composting bin.